A little earlier here on France 24, I, I spoke to a resident of Kiev. He's a former minister and an academic in international law. And I began by asking Sergei Petukov to tell us more about the situation in Kiev this Saturday. Uh, it's, it's funny because uh, just a couple of minutes ago, I've seen from my balcony our anti-missile system working against, uh, apparently, some military targets. I'm here in the northwest of the city in the direction of the Hostomel airport, the one that was that the Russian troops were trying to take over to send their paratroopers and, and, and launch an attack over Kiev. Um, it's been a second night in Kiev at war. I think we stood our ground. There has been reports, reports of uh, the fightings uh, around the city. Some of the missiles launched uh, in the city hit the civilian targets. There has been a report of... Um, of uh, Russian tanks that were stopped in the main, you know, uh, in the city approaching the center, kind of, uh, I don't know, five kilometers from where I live. But otherwise, uh, I think our, you know, the, the, you know, the people in Kiev survived this night. Lots of people did not sleep and were in the shelters or ready to go there at any point of time. And uh, I just, you know, hope that our army and our reserve forces will stand our ground and, and uh, defend us. And I'm, I'm, I'm one of those who are staying in the city to see what's going on to help my neighbors and, 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 and our army as far as I can. Now, we've, we've heard from the Ukrainian president this Saturday morning in a fresh video that he's released. He's saying that he's staying put in Kiev and that his, uh, his ministers, his armed forces are not going to, to down weapons. But is there a sense in Kiev this Saturday that the city could be on the verge of collapse? No, not at all. Uh, so some of the people left the city, uh, women, children, people who needed to take care of their relatives, friends or family. But uh, from what I can see, the majority of people are here. Nobody is scared or panicking. People are alert. We are ready for any developments. Uh, lots of people are ready to defend their neighborhoods and, and be of any assistance to our army. So no, there is no panic in the city. We are following the news. The city functions as normal. We do have a curfew, but otherwise, um, people people are just trusting the army and ready to be helpful to the extent possible, and 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 pretty much believing in in our army in this critical moment. You mentioned there a little bit about about daily life for residents in Kiev. Uh, just what is the uh, the situation like for them? Do you have enough to eat? Is there enough uh, aid coming in? Are there enough supplies? Right. Um, so there were huge. I mean, there were huge lines the first day. People trying to get gasoline, uh, uh, food, uh, you know, medicines. Um, since then, it's all calmed down. Some people left the city. Others are staying in their in their houses, apartments. Um, the supermarket next to my house has been closed since yesterday, but I have a supply of, of, of food at home and drinking water. My girlfriend has left uh, for the west of the country to join her mother, and I know that many people chose to leave the city, uh, you know, especially women. But otherwise, um, you know, um, I could see people outside walking around and and and. Uh, and um, and trying to live their life as 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 usual to the extent possible. So I think uh, I mean it's only been two days. There isn't enough food. Um, you know, uh, people has bought have bought food they needed. But let's see how the situation progresses.